Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here. I'm delighted to announce the release of my brand new, really powerful color grading plugin for Photoshop. It's called Gradiate and it will give you the ability to create beautiful finishes in your photos. And often you can do that with just one click. So for example, we have down here the potluck button and this has dozens of presets attached to it. And if you press that button, you'll see we add a preset to the image. And if you press it again, because you don't like that preset, you'll get a new one. And you can keep doing that and just trying your look to see which one works best for you. And if you like an effect, but you think it's a little bit strong, you can bring this slider along just to reduce the effect a little bit. So there's before and after. Or you can access those presets by going to this drop down box and choosing, let's go for a black and white one, black and white intense. So there we can create a really moody black and white photo. Now guys, users of Gradient get free updates for life and we're gonna add more and more presets with each update so that you'll have hundreds that you can cycle through. Now let's look at the buttons above part look. These are color correct buttons. So if I go to this image and I press auto correct too, you see Gradient will find a way to correct your photos. Now pick a tone, this allows you to manually correct the colors in your photo. And you press that, you'll see you have a color picker and you can select somewhere in your image that you consider to be a midpoint. And Photoshop will build color correction around that. Now, if you do it randomly like this, you'll probably get mixed results, but it's an easy way just to have a play around or an experiment to see what results you can get. And of course, you can reduce the opacity of that layer until you're happy. So let's take it up to, let's say 50%. So there's before and after. I think that's done a pretty good job. So what about these sections up here, these sliders? Well, to access these, we can go to my image here and we press colorize. Now this process is completely non-destructive, which means we can go back and undo those changes or alter those changes anytime down the workflow. So for this image, I wanna create less blue and add some greens and a slightly warmer temperature. So here I can adjust the temperature. Let me move it to the right to make it a little bit warmer. Now with tint, I can add some greens into the image by bringing the tint slider to the left. And that's very subtle, so I'll bring it along a little bit more. So there are a few more greens. Now you see these guys' faces, they're a little bit orange and this one here is a little bit bright. So I can select the orange color and I can change the hue, saturation or luminance of those colors. So watch what happens if I bring saturation down quite a bit. So their faces have lost some of that saturation. I can increase it a little bit, just to add a bit more color in there. Then I can bring down luminance a little bit to recover this guy's face. And that's the before and after. You see how these sliders give us really fine control of our image? Well, the great thing is if we continue down our workflow and we create a load of layers, and then we go back to gradiate, we can press colorize if we want and create a new gradient layer and you'll see the sliders are set to zero. Now most of the time we don't have to do that because we can just work on one gradient layer. But if we select the original layer that was created, watch the sliders, they move back to their original setting. So you can go back at any point and change these sliders. So what about these zones here? Let's go to a different image and press colorize just as before. The sliders will reset and these zones will allow us to insert colors into particular tonal ranges. So we've got shadows, midtones, and highlights. Let's say we wanna add some blue to our shadows. Well, to add blue, we actually select the yellow color because blue is the opposite of yellow. And here are our shadows. This is the shadow slider. If I bring the shadow slider right, we'll add yellow tones to the shadows. I don't know if you saw that, so I'm gonna bring it along a little bit more. So there's before and after. You see, we've got some warmer tones there in the shadows. Or, if I bring it left, that will activate blue. So that'll put blue in the shadows. You see how strong that effect is? I can soften that quite a bit. And let's say I wanna put some green in the shadows too. I can select this magenta and again, move it left because green is the opposite of magenta. And that's way too strong. Now, what if I wanna brighten these highlights? Well, I can choose black. And of course, if I move it to the right, that will darken the highlights, but I wanna brighten the highlights. So the opposite of black is white. So I bring the highlights along and there you go. We've brightened those highlights. And if I do that a little bit less, that's a little bit better. And now I can do the same in the midtones, just brighten it up a little bit. And a little bit more. 
And let's say I want to add some cyans or cooler tones to the highlights. I can choose the cyan option and just bring the highlight slider to the right. It's a little bit cooler. I'll do it a bit more so you can see it in the video. And here's the before and after. So these sliders are really powerful and give you some fantastic control over the colors in particular tonal ranges. And remember, if you purchase Gradient, you get free updates for life. So you as a user will get to benefit from all those future changes. So I hope you found this enjoyable. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.